Today we're out in the middle of Flinders Chase National Park. It was an area that was severely burnt during the 2019-20 Kangaroo Island bushfires. We're monitoring one of our 14 sites where we've installed and are monitoring artificial refuges to learn more about and protect the endangered Kangaroo Island Dunup. Dunnarts in the past have proven particularly hard to study. They're extremely cryptic. And prior to the fires, we knew very little about this species. Almost 100% of the Dunnarts known distribution was impacted by fire. There was a very real possibility that we might see this species go extinct. And this has led us to look at new techniques and tools which can help us to protect this species into the future. And one of those has been the installation of artificial refuges. So in partnership with WWF Australia and the Eye on Recovery Project, we've been running these trials for the last three months. At each site, we've been setting up very simple structures which are corrugated iron and terracotta tiles. We wanted to focus on materials that are easy to source and easy to install, as well as being easy to monitor. And it's been absolutely phenomenal. We've managed to catch 31 Dunarts in the last three weeks which is completely unheard of for the species. We've almost doubled what we already knew from, from these surveys. We're detecting KI Dunarts at more sites than we ever have before, and we're also detecting them more frequently. And we've found that the natural den sites that we do find are often shared communally with other species. So providing additional resources in terms of places where they can den, the corrugated iron, the tin sheeting, and the nests that we've built underneath have proven to be perfect habitat for Dunnarts. It's exceeded all of our expectations. They're a really feisty little animal. They're quite aggressive and they'd be a formidable predator, I'd imagine, as well. But, you know, when you pick one up, they're, they're very quick to bite onto your finger and, and you know they mean business. I guess our understanding of Dunnarts elsewhere and on the mainland is that they're primarily solitary individuals. So, for us to be able to come out to sites like this and to lift a sheet of iron and find two, three, four Dunarts refuging all together communally under these sheets of tins, these artificial refuges, has, has really rewritten our understanding of what we know about this species. Things are looking extremely positive for the species. The amount of information that we've gathered is something that we never expected when we began the project and it's really highlighted what conservation actions or management actions are needed for the species in the future.